Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two right triangles, uh, triangle uh, ABC and the other triangle uh, ADC put together such that we get this uh, yellow triangle uh, AEC, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, uh, this side length uh, AB is represented by X uh, minus 2. This side length uh, CD is represented by X uh, minus 5, whereas uh, this side length uh, AD is represented by 2X uh, minus 3. And finally, this uh, side length uh, BC is represented by X uh, plus 3. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Before we find the area of this uh, yellow triangle, we must find the value of uh, x first. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC, whose uh, side lengths are uh, x minus 2 and uh, x uh, plus 3. Let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, ac is our uh, longest uh, leg. So therefore, let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean theorem in this uh, formula. So a in our case is uh, x uh, minus uh, 2 whole square plus uh, b is uh, x uh, plus uh, 3 equal to, in our case, longest leg is uh, a c whole uh, square. And now let's recall this famous identity, a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it uh, on this very first uh, binomial. And let's recall another identity, a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it on this uh, second uh, binomial on the left hand side. So therefore left hand side is going to become uh, x square minus 4x plus uh, 4 and then plus uh, x square plus uh, 6x uh, plus uh, 9 equal to a c whole square. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms. So our equation could be written as a c whole square equal to 2x square plus 2x plus 13. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number one. And now let's focus on the other right triangle ADC whose uh, side lengths are uh, 2x minus 3 and x uh, minus 5. Let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle uh, as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. And in our case, uh, AC is going to be our longest leg. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So therefore, we can write uh, 2x uh, minus uh, 3 whole uh, square plus uh, x uh, minus uh, 5 uh, whole uh, square equal to our c length is uh, a c whole uh, square. And now let's recall this uh, identity once again a minus b whole square. We are going to apply it uh, on the left hand side on this binomial and this binomial as well. So therefore we can write uh, for uh, x square minus uh, 12x uh, plus uh, 9 and then plus uh, x square minus uh, 10x uh, plus uh, 25 equals to and now let's focus on this uh, equation one we know a c whole square is uh, this much so therefore i'm going to replace this uh, right hand side uh, by this uh, right hand side so therefore i'm going to replace this uh, ac square by this uh, 2x square plus uh, 2x plus uh, 13 as you can see in this uh, equation one and in this uh, next step i have combined all like terms uh, on the left hand side 
let's go ahead and move all these terms on the other side as you can see in this uh, next step and here I have combined all the like terms on the left hand side and now we can see this equation is divisible by 3 across the board so I'm going to divide each and every term by 3 so therefore we are ended up with the x square minus 8x plus 7 equal to 0 and now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve for x by grouping and factoring so therefore we are going to tweak this middle term negative 8x could be written as negative x minus 7x as you can see in this next step and here we can see x is in common and for these next two term negative 7 is in common so therefore this could be written as x times x minus 1 minus 7 as factored out so this is going to become x minus 1 equal to 0 so therefore we can write x minus 7 times x minus 1 equal to 0 let's separate them I'm going to write down x minus 7 equal to 0 or x minus 1 equal to 0 then the first equation x is going to be equal to positive 7 and this uh, next uh, equation uh, x is going to be positive 1 and now we can see x equal to 1 value is not uh, possible if I substitute uh, x value by 1 over here so this is going to give us uh, 1 minus 5 is going to give us negative 4 so this uh, length is going to become negative so this is not possible so therefore we are going to reject this x equal to 1 value and we are going to accept uh, x equal to positive 7 value so thus our x value turns out to be positive 7 so therefore our this uh, a b side length turns out to be 5 if I substitute x by 7 7 minus 2 is going to give us uh, 5 likewise uh, if we substitute over here by 7 7 minus 5 is going to give us a uh, side length 2 and likewise uh, this side length BC is going to be 10 and this side length uh, AD is going to be 11 and now let's go ahead and calculate uh, this side length uh, AC by substituting this uh, x equal to 7 value in this uh, equation 1 so therefore wherever I see x uh, I'm going to replace it by 7 so therefore I can write uh, AC whole square equal to 2 times 7 whole square plus uh, 2 times uh, 7 plus uh, 13 so therefore AC square turns out to be 125 let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a uh, square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our AC length uh, turns out to be equal to and now let's focus on the right hand side square root of 125 I have copied it down and if we simplify we get uh, 5 times square root of 5 so therefore our AC length turns out to be 5 uh, times uh, square root of uh, 5 so thus our uh, AC length uh, turns out to be 5 times square root of 5 and here's our next step since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, yellow triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to half times uh, base uh, times height and now we know that this uh, AC is uh, our base of this yellow triangle so therefore now we are going to calculate the height uh, of this uh, yellow triangle and here in this uh, next step I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, EF as you can see and this perpendicular EF is the height of this uh, yellow triangle let me label this height uh, as uh, lowercase h and here's our next step let me label uh, this uh, segment uh, AF uh, as our lowercase uh, a and this segment uh, FC as uh, lowercase b and now we can see that this uh, yellow triangle has been divided into two triangles the first one is this one and the other one is uh, this and here's our next step let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words uh, some of these two angles must be equal to 90 
degrees. So therefore, let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ADC. Let me call this angle uh, alpha. Since this angle is 90 degrees, so therefore this whole angle is going to be our angle beta. And in this uh, triangle, if this is our angle alpha, this is our 90 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. So therefore we can see that this uh, triangle uh, AFE is uh, similar to this bigger triangle uh, ADC according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. So therefore we are going to have a ratio of AF divided by FE equals to AD divided by CD as you can see over here. And now we can see our AF length is lowercase a, FE is lowercase h, AD is 11 and CD is 2. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced all these uh, values uh, over here. Let me go ahead and multiply both uh, sides by H uh, to isolate uh, A. Here we can see H and H is gone. So therefore A value turns out to be 11 H divided by 2. Let me call this our equation uh, number 2. And now let's focus on this uh, other triangle uh, ABC. Let's assume that alpha is our uh, this uh, angle. This is our 90 degree angle. So therefore this whole uh, angle is going to be our uh, angle beta. And now we can see in this uh, triangle this angle is alpha. This is our 90 degree angle. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. So therefore we can see that this uh, right triangle EFC is uh, similar to this bigger triangle uh, ABC according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. So therefore we are going to have a ratio of uh, FC and FE equals to the ratio of uh, BC and AB. And now we can see our FC length uh, is uh, B, FE is uh, lowercase uh, h, b c is uh, 10 and a b length uh, is 5. As you can see in this uh, next step I have substituted these uh, values over here. Let's go ahead and multiply both uh, sides by h to isolate uh, b. Here we can see h and h is gone so therefore b turns out to be 2 times uh, h. Let me call this our equation uh, number 3. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, side length uh, AC is equal to this individual side length uh, AF and this uh, FC as you can see in this uh, equation. And now we can see that our AC length uh, is uh, 5 times uh, square root of 5 AF uh, length is represented by lowercase a and fc length uh, is represented by lowercase b. As you can see in this uh, next step I have substituted these uh, values and now we know that our this uh, lowercase a value is 11 h divided by 2 from equation 2 and our lowercase b value is uh, 2 times h from equation 3. So therefore let me go ahead and substitute those values. On the left hand side we got 5 times square root of 5 equal to on the right hand side uh, 11 h uh, divided by 2 plus b value is uh, 2 times uh, h and if we add the right hand side we are going to get 15 uh, h divided by 2 equals to 5 times uh, square root of 5. Let me go ahead and multiply both sides uh, 2 divided by 15 uh, to isolate uh, h so therefore you can see that this 15 and 15 is gone 2 and 2 is gone so therefore h value turns out to be if we simplify this thing that is going to give us 2 times square root of 5 divided by 3 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. 
and in our case our base uh, of this yellow triangle is uh, 5 times uh, square root of 5 and the height is uh, 2 times square root of 5 uh, divided by 3. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. We got uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, base is uh, 5 times uh, square root of uh, 5 times our height is uh, 2 times square root of uh, 5 uh, divided by 3. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, the area of this uh, yellow triangle is going to become uh, 25 divided by 3. So thus the area of this uh, yellow triangle turns out to be 25 divided by 3 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.